All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon, and in this video, we've got good news which should alleviate a lot of worries that people had about the Errol Spence Jr. versus Keith Thurman fight. According to Mauricio Suleiman, let's talk about what he had to say in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon. And in this video, I am going to be talking about the 147 pound division where uh, Errol Spence Jr. versus Keith Thurman's fight has been addressed by Mauricio Suleiman, the uh, president of the WBC, asked, answered a lot of questions and alleviated a lot of you, I'm sure, Terrence Crawford fans honest concerns about Keith Thurman. Now, before I get into that though, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, please do not freeload. Hit the subscribe button. If you don't hit the subscribe button, at least hit the like, dislike, or share the video. Would be greatly appreciated. And if you are a longtime subscriber and supporter, thank you so much for your support for the channel. And thank you to everybody that supports in the super thanks, which you can see in the lower right hand corner of the screen. It is how channels like mine and others are able to continue to put out this type of content, which a lot of people enjoy. Maybe you don't enjoy, but if you don't enjoy it, like I said, you can at least hit that like button would be appreciated. Now, let's get into this. Now, first things first, I got to warn you, I have allergies bad allergies and my dog has been running around my office so my nose is stuck stuffed up and if i should happen to sneeze i promise you i'm gonna cover my nose but then i'm gonna push on through this video because i've already stopped it three times because i could not stop from sneezing not gonna do it again it is not a good return on my investment to keep starting this thing over again so i'm gonna try my best to get through it without sneezing but I can't promise you anything. Now, let's get into the subject matter of the video, which is that uh, Errol Spence Jr., who is the WBC, the IBF, and the WBA welterweight champion, will be fighting, according to reports, but man, some real solid reports, uh, against Keith Thurman for the WBC fight, which was ordered uh, as a mandatory title defense for Errol Spence Jr. Now, uh, a lot of people were saying, had a lot of questions about the fight, like, uh, what happened to it being the mandatory? This is crazy. He's fighting it, he's fighting at 154. He's not fighting at 147. So as a result of that, you know, uh, you know, blah, 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 blah. I'm sure you heard a lot of that. Well, today on the boxing voice. Uh, NASA of the Boxing Voice interviewed Mauricio Suleiman, who is the president of the WBC. And he says, look, there is no problem with this fight. This fight is being sanctioned by the WBC, which means that Errol Spitz Jr. and uh, Keith Thurman will be paying their sanctioned fees to the WBC. And that the W so the WBC will be sanctioned in the fight. Also, when he was asked about whether or not it was satisfied the mandatory uh, the mandatory requirement for for Errol Spence Jr., he did not answer that question directly. However, what he said was that there is nothing against the rules of for us to order a fight uh, to take place to satisfy the mandatory for 147, but allow the parties to actually defend it at a higher weight. Now, I had never heard that before, but I did hear uh, him just say right now on, again, on the Boxing Voice that, or imply heavily that this is going to satisfy that mandatory requirement because we ordered Errol Spence and Keith Thurman to fight and they have agreed to fight. And there's nothing in the rules preventing them from being able to defend the belt and a, you prevent them to be able to fight or a, a mandatory fight 
but have it be a non-title fight. Interesting little twist. Again, let me repeat that. There is Mauricio Suleiman says there's nothing in the rules to prevent a fighter, a fight that, that the WBC orders, right, as a mandatory for the champion, for them to satisfy that mandatory in a non-title fight because it is a mandatory fight that was fought by the WBC champion. However, that mandatory fight can be a non-title mandatory fight if the WBC approves it and Errol approves it and Keith Thurman approves it. So therefore, out the window goes this whole notion that somehow Errol Spence Jr. is ducking his mandatory by fighting a guy that he was ordered to fight in the mandatory, right? Now, so I am sure that all of the people that were honestly concerned about this, even though I said from the beginning, and any reasonable person knows, what difference does it make, okay? The WBC ordered Errol Spence Jr. to fight Keith Thurman. If Errol Spence Jr. fights Keith Thurman in 154, and Keith Thurman is fine with it, and the WBC is fine with it, and then the mandatory is satisfied, that does not prevent, that absolutely means, makes no, so it makes no difference whether it was a 154 or 150 47 and that is what Mauricio Suleiman is in essence saying now other interesting things that came out of that interview was Ness of the Boxy Voice and again shout out to Ness of the Boxy Voice I don't mean any disrespect to him or his channel or anything like that just listen to what they were saying and uh was he asked Mauricio Suleiman about whether or not Mauricio Suleiman would be able to order a fight between Errol and Terrence Crawford, whether you could call the WBO and call and ask the WBO to order Terrence Crawford to fight their champion, Errol Smith Jr. And Mauricio Suleiman brought up something that was very interesting. He said that we had done that before. And what happened was, and this is ironic, that they had or they had tried to do something like that before, where their champion the WBC champion was Adonis Stevenson. And the WBO champion, or one of the champions were, was Sergey Kovalev. So they wanted to make a unification fight between uh, Ad Adonis Stevenson and Sergey Kovalev. And what Sergey Kovalev did was use the negotiation that was ordered by the WBC, and I suspect it was the WBO, and what they did was he used that to parlay that negotiation into another opportunity for himself with either HBO or ESPN. I can't remember who he said, but basically he didn't go. And he said, went out of his way to say, I'm not saying it was a bad faith negotiation, which is all but saying it was a bad faith negotiation. And uh, what Kathy Duva and the promoters did was use that as a way to leverage that fight in order to get more money to go do something else. Now, where have you heard that before? <laughs> where somebody used a fight, that, a negotiation that was going on to leverage their position to get another fight. Uh, Terrence Crawford and Errol Smith Jr. So to have Mauricio Suleiman say that, I thought was absolutely hilarious. But anyway, that's what Mauricio Suleiman said. There, there is no issue with Errol fighting Keith Thurman as far as the mandatory goes because that is it's a, it's a fight being sanctioned by the WBC. After that, he's going to be able to, if he decides to stay down there in that weight class and go fight uh, and fight the WBA champion, champion, so be it. If Keith Thurman wins the fight, they said, we will see it. We will address that. If Keith Thurman was to win the fight, and it was a non-title fight. He said, we will address that as we if that happens, right? So who knows? Because Keith may decide to stay at 154. Arrow may decide to stay at 154. We don't even know if they're coming back down to that weight. So we're just going to have to wait and see. Anyway, that's my take on the situation. You let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Peace.